Hi, I'm Joe and welcome to the channel. In this micro lesson, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I'm going to put myself on the spot a little bit and I'm going to try to see how many different ways I can come up with playing one note or getting into a note on the guitar. Well, why would I do this? There's a concept that I like to talk about, which is exhaust all possibilities. I know as a guitarist, sometimes I'll come up with a, a lick or a chord progression or something like that, and I just leave it at that. I don't take time to explore all the different possible variations that could lead me into different creative places or to discover something new on the guitar. So what's the most basic thing you can do on a guitar is play a note. But what's neat about the guitar is that you can play that note in several different ways. So think about it this way. You have a piano. You bang that piano, you hit that note, that's really kind of only one way to get into the note. You could use dynamics, you can make it softer and louder, but you really, when you hit that note, there's only one way to really play that note. Well, on the guitar, that's not the case. We could do so many different things to get in and out of a note. So again, let's explore those different options that I can come up with putting myself on the spot. It's a little bit nerve wracking, but we'll see what I come up with. And if I leave any out, please do me a favor and leave me a comment below and let me know. We're all learning here on this channel. Let's jump into the lesson. All right, so let's give it a shot here. We're gonna exhaust all possibilities and I'm gonna try to think of all the different ways I can either play a note or get into a note. And for this purpose, we're gonna pick, I'm gonna pick G. And I'm gonna use a fairly clean sound. So first off, I can think of one thing, um, which is, well, hopefully I can think of more than one thing, but to get started, I can think of one thing. It's where you play the note. So we know on the guitar, unlike a piano, a piano has a middle C and that's kind of it. Well, on a guitar, we have the same note in different areas of the neck. So my note that I'm gonna choose for this whole thing will be G. Well, I have this G, I have this same G here, same G here, same G here, same G here. See, that's the same pitch, but it's on different strings. So that's the first thing you can think of is where on the guitar am I gonna play this note or start this note? The next thing we can think about is when you're going into it, are you gonna hit the note soft or hard? Are you trying to make that type of statement? So kind of dynamics is your next choice. Are you kind of middle, middle ground, medium? Hard attack? Soft attack? Then of course we have choices of how are we picking that note? How are we are picking that note? Are we using our fingers or are we using the pick? My finger, I'm picking up. Gives it a little more snappy sound. As opposed to the pick. And of course, the pick itself. If you rotate the pick, you might get a smoother sound than if you use the point. So, and you had another choice to make here. And this is all for this one note. So we have those dynamics, we have different ways we're gonna pick that note, where we're gonna play the note. Those are some choices right off the bat. So now let's start exploring other things. What are, what are some other things that I can think of? Well, one of them is how we're gonna get into this note. Well, first, before even I do that, I actually thought of something else. When you hit the note, are you going to play it head on and just leave it with no vibrato? You're gonna add a little vibrato to it? Are you gonna add vibrato right away? What type of vibrato are you gonna do? Is it gonna be a slow? Is it going to be more the bending this way, the circular vibrato, the back and forth vibrato? I made a whole micro lesson on the different ways to do vibrato, and I'll go ahead and put a link to that up top there. So we have those choices too. Maybe you're going to wait a little bit. You're going to pick the note and then add vibrato. Okay, so <laughs> those are some several ways just to play one note. But then we can think about how we get into that note. So what are different approaches we can do to actually get into that same exact note? Well, the first ones I can think of is sliding into the note. Now I'm combining techniques too. I'm sliding into the note and then I'm adding vibrato to it. One thing I also thought of just now, this is, cra this is a crazy little exercise. Your brain really goes all over the place. One thing I thought of too is we're on an electric guitar here. So that one note, going back to just playing the note flat, Look at all the tonal options I have. I have the ability to switch different pickups. And it sounds different. Brighter as I get obviously towards the bridge pickup. 
I even have a split coil here for this humbucker. I come back. So I have six different options alone with just my, my pickup selection and splitting my, my humbucker. We also, of course, obviously have the tone knob so we can make it more mellow. Everything in between. We can even do a fake uh, <laughs> wah-wah pedal. Uh, that's pretty lame. But anyway, you have those options too. So think about your tonal choices, your pickup selection as well. All right, now getting back into the other thing, how am I gonna get into this note? So the first one is sliding for me. And you can slide from below to the pitch or above and down to the pitch. The other ways we could do it, we can bend into the note. We can pre-bend and come down to the note. We can hammer on <laughs> onto the note. We can pull off to the note. So there alone we have several different techniques of just getting into that one note. And then of course we can add pickup notes to it. So we don't have to, I mean these technically are pickup notes and we're sliding into it. We can add more than one. There, I'm just kind of hammering on, and then ending on that note. We can do kind of double stops for that note and add a little character to it. So what else can I think of? This is, <laughs> this is so interesting. Well, I think if I had a whammy bar, um, I could actually get into the note by bending down and up to it, or again, uh, above it and come down to that note. Let's see, we can obviously hit the note, the harmonic of the note as well. We could do pinch harmonics on the note. There's so many options, it's really ridiculous. Um, let's see, what else can I think of? If you can think of any others than what I've shown here, please go ahead and put it in the comments below. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're all learning and it's nice to, to share in the community. So another thing that I can think of is now, why am I showing all this? Why, why are we thinking about all the different ways to play this note. Well, when you come up with a lick on the guitar, start to experiment now how you're beginning that lick or where you can add a little more flair to the lick by trying these techniques out. So let's take a simple little, I guess, blues lick. Um, we'll try. So that's basically all I'm doing is I'm starting on G and then sliding up to the flat, um, flat five. Sorry, the flat three of the G minor pentatonic. So it's a B flat. And I'm tweaking it, making it um, into the, you know, I'm basically implying the natural third. Well, that note, I can just start off with and then do it. Like we talked about, I can hammer on. I can slide down and then back up to get into that note. I can do the uh, multiple kind of pickup lines. So all of these things are now kind of at your disposal. And that was just one lick. So think about maybe one of your favorite licks that you've come up with in the past and try to find different ways to start or get into the first note of that lick. And then of course you can apply this to any of the notes in the lick really, if you wanted to. And think about the vibrato, think about the way you're entering into the note. There's just so many variations. So again, the whole purpose really of this micro lesson was kind of to put myself on the spot to see how many different ways I could think of coming up with uh, getting into one note. But the main purpose again was to, you know, have the right to explore and try different options when you're working on your own licks. That's another micro lesson down. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, please do me a favor and consider helping me grow the channel by subscribing down below, hitting the like button, and knocking on the bell to be notified when the next video comes out. All these things really help me out and I do appreciate it. As always, I wish you a wonderful day.